You're tuned in to The Keetra Show and listening to SOB, Style of Business, the podcast with your host, Keetra. We aim to highlight the ongoing trek of entrepreneurs and business owners from around the globe, featuring stories that recount their struggles, experiences, and inevitable road to success and self-fulfillment. Welcome to SOB. This podcast is being brought to you by my inspiring new book titled Courage is a Muscle, Using Heart to Power Your Entrepreneurial Dreams. You can grab your copy today on Amazon. Hey, what's up, y'all? Thanks so much for tuning in and checking out another hot episode of SOB, Style of Business, the podcast. This is your host, Keetra, and today we got some smooth guests on the line. We got some good stuff for you guys. We got some hot stuff for you guys. We got some stuff that's pretty much going to help you cultivate better relationships. We We are talking to... The wonderful, fantastic, the magnificent relationship coaches. I don't even know if I can call them that, but I'll let you, I'll let them come in and and clarify and clean up and do what they need to do. But we're talking to the wonderful Eric and Lakila Bowden, who are the co-founders of Dope People Who, which is a relationship performance coaching company. And these guys specialize in helping singles and couples experience happy, healthy relationships. Look, we're in a new year. We need that, you know, so we... We're going to we're going to be un- uncovering some good stuff today. So you guys take a couple of seconds. Make sure you listen to the introduction and stay tuned for this wonderful interview. Without further ado, Eric and Lakila, go ahead and drop that introduction for us and, and tell us a little bit about you guys. And we're going to roll right through from there. Absolutely. Hey, what's up? up? What's up? This is, of course, Eric and Lakila, And we are the Dope Love Coaches. Uh, we are the founders of Dope People Who, which is a relationship performance coaching company. And we are all about healthy and fun love, black love relationships. You got that right. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And when you guys said coaches, but I was thinking more of extraordinary expert, you know, just we, we're stepping it up, you know, because <laughs> what I, I Absolutely. Check, yeah, Absolutely. you guys got some good things going. So, yeah, I'll let, go ahead and, you know, whatever guy, whatever you, y'all want to, to add, um, you know, the I, I know that you guys do the coaching and got some good things coming up from the year. So like, I guess let's get started by taking a couple of steps back and figure out how mm-hmm. did you guys decide? I mean, collectively, you guys have what over uh, twenty five years of performance management and pretty much people development. Like, how did that get started? Yeah, absolutely. So Eric and I in our careers um, have always had a hand in developing uh, people and and managing managing relationships, making sure that people are working together, working through conflicts, things like that. And that's from a corporate background. And when we um, when we got together as a couple, we just had such a phenomenal experience that we wanted to find a way to be able to expand that that influence and the impact so that other people could also uh, have very positive experiences when it comes to relationships. So we took those skill sets that we used in our uh, in our corporate careers and just really transferred it over to what we do in our coaching, and it's worked out phenomenally. Yeah, it's been great. Like we started back in 2016 when we met. Uh, we found ourselves doing more um, coaching on the financial side initially. But as we coach folks in their finances, we realized that their relationships were all messed up. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> right. So we, we took a lot of time um, investing in the emotional side of their relationships. So it was a very natural progression into doing coaching specifically on relationships, whether you're single, married, divorced, it doesn't matter. Um, we, we focus on that. And it's been a great business thus far. Yeah, yeah, that's that's perfect, and I love to hear that because, like I said, I mean, you guys are much more than coaches. You know, to me, it's it's this mm-hmm. is also like a mentorship, and you guys are really giving back in a lot of the areas that people most need it. I mean, you know, obviously, relationships are important. The finances are ext- extremely important as well. So mm-hmm. the fact that you guys are bringing that, you know, as a service and putting you, even your platform, like your Instagram platform, and the things that you you guys do in addition to the the services are. Very well yeah. put together. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk about that a bit? or? Yeah, a- absolutely. Um, and I'll just take a step back and say that one of the primary reasons that we started Dope People Who uh, and focusing on specifically Black love relationships is because there are two things. There is a huge lack of positive examples mm. of of, of relationships when it comes to black people. Um, you, you know, you often see us pitted against one, no- one another, whether it's in the movies or reality TV or in our music. Um, you know, it, there's not a lot of, um, promotion of the healthy whole relationship when it comes to, to black people, black and black couples. Yeah. So we wanted to combat that. 
And then there's also the the real life side of the lack of guidance and positive examples in our real lives. Right, so, yeah. you know, we know so many people and we in our in our own personal lives have so many examples of broken relationships, dysfunction, divorce, um, you know, or people that are together, but they're not they're not happy. They're not it's not a healthy functional relationship uh, in that way. So we wanted to bridge that gap and bring in more examples because what you what you can't see it's hard to be right right so yeah. our whole focus is that relationships don't have to be hard um you know you can have a healthy whole relationship and it can be positive but sometimes you just need to see how like you need the the, the guidance around the skill set that gets you there to that health healthy happy and whole place yeah and just to echo that um on the man side i have been very intentional about showing my love for my wife because I don't see men doing this online. And I also haven't seen men doing this in reality, like in my personal life. So I was very intentional about making sure that I would display my love for her um, on Instagram, on Facebook, to be an inspiration to other men who may want to just, you know, loving their chick more and not be called a lame or called a a caker, you know, like, so I'm definitely a manly man. I'm a man's man. I can build a house. I can do all, <laughs> all these right. things. Yeah. I also, <laughs> right. also know how to love on my woman. And I wanted to show that as much as possible to make sure the other men feel comfortable doing that as well with their girls. Yeah, no, you you definitely do that. And that's, I, you know, no joke, no, no lie, guys. Go check out that Instagram because even the images, you know, it's one thing to take a picture, but sometimes we, you know, you, you take a picture and you look at it. Okay, this is a picture. When I saw the images that you guys had, you... I instantly felt like that was authentic. You know, it, it wasn't one of those things to where somebody said, hey, you know, Lakila, hey, you you do this. And hey, Eric, I want you to kind of look at her and do this. Like, I, I felt the connection. Like, you guys are really connected and in tune with each other. And that's one of the things I love. So, you know, you have to be able to to walk the walk, you know, and, and obviously you guys are doing that, you know, to be, I mean, obviously you're doing that and you're successful at doing that because you demonstrate what you're, what you're, what you're sharing with people, right? Exactly. Exactly. That's actually what you just mentioned. Authenticity is one of the key components of our coaching program and our coaching style. So we have a uh, an online coaching program called Unleash Your Dopeness. And that program is for singles, it's for couples, um, but it really focuses on the individual. It starts off focus, focusing on the individual because when you lead with authenticity, that is the best way to cultivate relationships that resonate with who you are and you can show up as you are in your truth. You can show up as your best self when you're coming from a place of authenticity. So exactly what you said, Keitra, in terms of the pictures that you see on our, on our Instagram and the ones that we have on our website, that's, that's us. Like you yeah. get Eric and Lakila, you get the, the raw, the a good real, time. Real, right. <laughs> right. Be positive. I mean, we really, yeah. we, we have so much fun with each other. Eric is my best, absolute best friend. Mm-hmm. Like I, I love this man and he is, we laugh together. We are mischievous together. And all of those things that you don't necessarily see promoted when it comes to marriage, marriages are often touted as being boring and routine and, you know, you got to act like a wife or act like a husband, but that might not necessarily be in line with who you really are. So we are our, our authentic selves with each other. And we always coach on authenticity with our with our clients. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I must say that <laughs> as far as like me and my friends and my, my my male peers, they feel like I have cracked the code. Like, how is it possible that you're having all this fun with this woman that you are faithful to? You guys are monogamous. Like, how is it possible? Yeah. It's possible because I give a damn about myself first. Mm-hmm. I have my own standards as an individual. I have a whiteboard session with myself to say, Eric, what do you want for your life? Okay, write that down. Okay, then I go live it. And I'm living it right now with my wife. So I didn't just crack the code. I just love myself enough to make this happen naturally. Mm-hmm. Wow. Loving yourself enough. Yeah, that's, I tell you what, that ought to be the mantra for 2021. Love yourself first and love yourself enough, you know, so that you can yeah. give of yourself. And I, I, I want to jump into this because I, I know I'm I know you guys have insight on this and I'm interested to see your to hear rather your thoughts on this next thing that I, that I want to discuss. And just a mm-hmm. second ago, we talked about authenticity. Right. And just being able yeah. to come from a place of your inner power, your true self. So that takes communication and then also when you just mentioned, you know, hey, 
I'm living it. I'm doing it. But I, I think one 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 of the things that kind of hangs people up, and I know you guys cover this as well, is going to be the, they struggle. They struggle with past traumas uh, in relationships. And then also people struggle with what they have seen growing up as kids. Because if you have mom and dad that were always fighting and, you know, they cahooting with each other and dad is not in the picture. Like, how are you able to even demonstrate that? Like how basically what I want to know is like, what are your thoughts on bringing people together who have communication issues and have past traumas, and but yet they're trying to establish a relationship with someone? You know what I mean? Like, how does how does that work? Yeah, that, that's a very good question. So one of the things that really differentiates our relationship in terms of the level of um, alignment that we have with each other is that Eric and I, before we ever met, we did a lot of, of self-development and personal development because you're absolutely right. Those things are very much um, inhibiting factors when it comes to having a healthy relationship. If you've never seen it, or if what you did see was dysfunction, it is difficult to go on and not perpetuate that dysfunction. So um, a lot of what we knew about ourselves as individuals were that there were things that we did not want to replicate, right? right? And so how do you do that? You have to, one, identify, okay, this is a challenge for me. I want to be married someday, but I all I know is divorce or or nobody in my family is even married, mm, you know, yeah. or, you know, I don't see these healthy relationships around me. Well, I need to, one, identify that that's a challenge. So acknowledging it in the first place and then seek out the resources that are out there. Even if you don't know where to start, start where you are. And that whether that is therapy, that's one of our one of our biggest um, we're huge proponents of therapy. Uh, we all need it, regardless of you know what your background is, and whether that is you know therapy for maybe trauma you're, you've experienced, or maybe it's just from a maintenance perspective to stay in a good place. Therapy is 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 wow. imperative, and yeah. as an individual, we hugely promote that. And then doing other things to um, develop yourself, um, whether that's getting a coach, um, whether that is making sure that you're surrounding yourself with positive people who exhibit the kind of behaviors that you want to see and that you want to experience from yourself and from someone else in a relationship. But it's, it's about being intentional. A lot of times we say, well, that's where I came from. That's all I know. So, right, yeah. you know, that's, that's the end of the story when it's really not. You have choice over that mm, and you yeah. can really manifest the type of relationship that you want, even if you've never seen it. Mm-hmm. We come across this question a lot, actually. So, <laughs> you know, the way to make this as simple as possible is to compare those traumas with like somebody who might be overweight or obese, okay, yeah. or somebody who is dead as broke. All yeah. right, if you're broke, what are you gonna do when you realize you have no money inside your pocket? All you have is lint. You're gonna find out the people that actually are doing it right, who, who have good credit, who understand how to boost your credit score, who understand how to generate more income for you. You seek out those financial coaches. What happens when you are trying to lose weight? You find a personal trainer, you go online and try to find a good gym that you can work at, at work out at once a week or you know a few times a week, and you start to lose that weight. Yeah. It's the same exact thing for a relationship. Mm-hmm. If you have past trauma, if you don't even understand where to start when it comes to loving yourself or um, being in love with a partner. You got to seek out the therapy. You got to seek out the coaches that know what the hell they're doing. Mm -hmm. And we know what the hell we're doing because we're living it right now. So the same thing applies for relationships that applies to everything else in life that you want to improve. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, and I I appreciate that explanation because that, I think that'll, that also has a lot to do with, um, like you said, you know, you, you have to go out and seek the help. You have to want to get the help. To, oh my gosh, my I'm twisting all types of ways today. You have to want to get uh, help for yourself. Um, but let me let me ask you this: like when it when it comes mm-hmm. to like say for instance, people come to you guys and it's a choice. You know, they can choose to to do counseling with anything. You know, whether it's weight, whether it's uh, relationship management. What about when you have situations to where you have a couple? Well, maybe maybe there's yeah, there's a couple. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. There's a couple who needs help. You have one partner who is the one that is advocating for the therapy sessions, advocating for, you know, making sure that their relationship is strong and solid. 
you know, they're they're accountable, right? So they're stepping up and say, hey, we want this, we need this. And then you have somebody else who's stubborn, who's not trying to communicate, who's not trying to step up, who's not trying to make things better. Like, what about those relationships? Like you said, dysfunction, um, you have one partner that's ready to go, you have the other one, but that person is steady trying to make this person adhere to the therapy session. They want to stay in the relationship. Like, what type of, how would you describe that dysfunction? Yeah, well, that is, actually very common in, in the folks that we coach. And the one thing that we coach in our, our program, Alicia Doton, is, is that you can only control what you do. Mm-hmm. You cannot control your partner. If they don't want to be a part of the healing, if they don't want to be a part of correcting or course correcting the relationship, then unfortunately you have to move by yourself. Now, in moving by yourself, that could potentially improve your relationship overall or it could show you that you may not be in the place of serving you well anymore. So a major part of our coaching is to coach people into more happiness together. And it's also to coach uncoupling Mm -hmm. of relationships as well, because certain people don't need to be together anymore. And I think that's what sets us apart. I feel like if you go to certain, um, I'll, I'll say certain places, they'll, pretty much force you to make it work, although both parties are miserable. Yeah, yeah. We don't coach that. We coach individual happiness first. Mm-hmm. And, you know, one thing we also hear about is, well, how does that company impact the kids? We have realized through our coaching, and there are also plenty of studies out there that show that individual happy parents make for happier kids. Mm-hmm. When kids see abuse happening every single day, they grow up with that trauma that you just articulated right. a few minutes ago. So so we're big on happiness one way or another. Fulfillment and yeah, I mean to Eric's point exactly. That is we're we're not the coaches that say stick it out no matter what. We're the ones that say, you know, you want to make sure that you're in a situation that is serving you well and that your partner is in a situation that's serving you well. And you and to Eric's point, you can't make the other person uh follow your same path. Um, so, so yeah, that is, that's something that is sometimes difficult to, uh, to, to address, but once you start getting down to that, to the root of it, you, you really start to have, actually have a better situation. Yeah. Together. Like for instance, if you slap my mama, guess what? It's Uh-oh. over. Okay. <laughs> exactly. It's, I second There's that. No right. That. <laughs> right. Don't no. slap mama. Right. <laughs> I'm with y'all hundred percent. Hey, I, I love it. I love what you guys are doing. I love you guys. Um, and, and even the fact like the uncoupling, like when you said that, that got me, that, that got me because I, you know, like you said, most of the times people are talking about staying together. And I know that you, you, you're probably familiar with, especially within the black community and probably beyond that, like there's a lot of different religious groups that, Mm -hmm. you know, in the past, when you marry somebody, that's you done, you know, that's who you with. Mm -hmm. So whether he's beating you, she's beating you, he's cheating on you, she's cheating on you, y'all are going to make it work. And y'all are going to stick it out because you took a vow. And it doesn't matter how miserable you may be, because you got to do it for the kids, right? You got to do it because you stood before God and said this or said that. And not to, I I don't want to get too much into it on a religious part of it, but just the whole belief system that, hey, you know, despite whatever's going on, you know, if, you, if you're not happy, oh, well, stick it out. I love the fact that you guys are actually teaching something different and really, yeah. you know, focusing on people's individual happiness. We, we coach around mindfulness in relationships, being mindful about preparing yourself, uh, to, mindful about your relationship with yourself, mindful about preparing yourself for the type of relationship that you want to have. And then also, if you if you find yourself in a situation where things aren't working and it's not clicking on all cylinders, we want you to, to make conscious decisions about that. And that conscious decision might lead you to being closer and more more aligned as a couple, or it may make you realize, you know what, we ha- we were here for this season in each other's lives, and it's time to move on to better seasons. And that's okay too. Like being locked into the idea of if I'm dating someone, this 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 man or this woman has to become my my husband or my wife, right, or yeah. we're husband and wife now. So we have to stay that way for life. If it's not, if we're devolving and we're hurting each other, and we're causing each other pain. No, we don't. We don't believe that that has to be the case. Um, and that's why we're so again intentional about helping to coach people around the skills to help them be the best version of themselves so that they can show up as the best version of a partner and a teammate in a relationship. 
Oh, for sure. And as far as religion, we have clients from all different backgrounds and everything. So we deal with this this uh, concept a lot. But as far as like Christians and the Christian household, I know that, you know, our, our great grands and our grandmothers, they've all been a part of that that culture where you stick around no matter what, you know, right. and they say that, you know, God don't like um, anybody leaving relationships. But the one thing that I stress to people is that God also has unforgivable sin. Folks mm-hmm. don't talk about that. So yeah. even God above says, you do these things, I will not forgive you. Blasphemy is a sin that God will not forgive. So what makes you better than God? What makes you better right, than God yeah. that you have to forgive when God says, these things over here, ah, I ain't messing with that. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. That It makes perfect sense. And I, yeah, and you, you definitely got to, you got to know, I mean, hey, if it's not working for you, you got to get out of it. You cannot live a life of misery. Um Y'all, I, I, I want you to, I know we've talked about couples quite a bit. Let, what, what about singles? Let's talk about singles. Like, what are some of the things that you can do for people? Uh, say, for instance, there's a person who is just really set on getting married. They're dating, you know, like you, uh, Lakila, you just mentioned how, you know, a lot of people, uh, well, not a lot of people, but, you know, sometimes people feel like, hey, I got to, you know, get with somebody so we can get married or whatever. But like, how how can you assist singles who are interested in finding that forever per- partner um, just have a, you know, just have fun with, with dating. And, you know, if it leads to marriage, then fine. Right. Exactly. Hey, exactly. single people. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> you know, we <laughs> love, we love single people because we were right. single, uh, we, we were single a lot longer than we've been married. Definitely. Like we yeah. enjoyed, we thoroughly enjoyed our single lives and all aspects of it. The times when we were dating people when we weren't, when we were in relationships or, you know, when we were, you know, in situationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> been Entanglement. Like, yeah. I've been, we've been cheated on. I've been a cheater at one point in my life back in my twenties. So we've had the full spectrum of yeah. relationships. Yeah. So we really value um, our, our single clients because it is such a time that, um, that doesn't get the, the, the props that it deserves. Right. Like it's always kind of I'm I'm single in this waiting, you know, with this exactly. holding area until yeah. I become coupled and then, you know, then I have some value. And that's crazy. You are you are valuable, you are dope, you are wonderful as you are, like by yourself, your own individual unique DNA. And that single period or or the time being single is a great period of time um to really develop focus on your own development. It's you know it's the time that you should be prioritizing yourself and learning what you love, what you, you know, what you don't like and really honing in on the things that, that make you great and understanding your value and your worth. That is what brings into you, uh, attracts to you people that, that really get that and gain that. And, and having that, you know, you don't have to compromise anything about yourself that is, that's true to your core. That's, that's a part of your truth. So I think during that single time, it's really living to uh, at, in, a, in a space of valuing yourself, but then also valuing the experiences that you're having and, and using that to gather more data around what really resonates with you and what you want in partnership. The more clarity you have around that, the easier it is to say, okay, maybe I'm dating or kicking it with this person, but this isn't the, the one. Yeah. Um, this isn't, you know, this is, this is a relationship for a period of time, but not the one that I plan to take, you know, on with me into the future. And then when you do encounter the one, like I can say when I met Eric, I knew as yeah. much dating and kicking it and all this, you know, that I had done in my single life, it was pretty instantaneous because I also had um, parameters and, and attributes that I knew uh, that I wanted in a partner and in him, it was very clear um, because I was aware of what I needed and wanted for myself. So I didn't have to to guess and say, hey, does this make sense? Does this line up? It was it was very obvious because I was, you know, I was I understood what was important to me. Yeah. Well, said, baby, grab some bars today, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's on it. Love it. <laughs> Eric, yeah, do you want to add to that? Go ahead. That. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, just to echo that. Um, a lot of people look at us and they say, man, y'all so lucky. Y'all lucky this, lucky that. Man, it was not luck. Everything my wife just articulated, that has to be done. Light attracts light. Mm-hmm. Okay. Darkness also attracts darkness. So right. if you're not mm-hmm. working on yourself, then you're going to keep repeating the same processes, repeating the same type of relationship um, challenges until you start to focus on you and improving yourself, getting the therapy, getting the coaches, um, training your 
your your mind, body, and soul on what you want to have in your near and distant future. Until you start doing that, you're not going to have the amazing relationship that you want to have. You're going to have a relationship, but it's not going to be what you want. So you have to do the work. And this is fun work, y'all. This yeah. is fun stuff. Like we do everything else for everybody else. We wake up, work for the man for, from nine to five. Uh, we take care of our kids all day long. We do all these things, but we don't serve ourselves. Serving yourself is the most joyful thing that I've ever done for myself. And we coach that all day long with our single folks. And and we have people who focus on themselves who are now married. They started out single, and now they are engaged and married. So we have those success stories. And they come back to us and say, wow, it was really that straightforward. I focused on myself, and I naturally attracted the person that was meant for me. Light attracts light. Yeah, that's perfectly stated and said. Like does attract like. And I'll tell you what, guys, we got some additional goodies. I, I, I'd like for you guys to jump into the course. Let's talk a little bit about the course before we get ready to wrap up. Um, and okay. I know there's some treats and stuff for the listeners. Uh, you guys can also include that. And just, you know, just whatever else you want to share. Let's go ahead and get into that. Yeah, absolutely. So our, we have a massive transformative purpose in, uh, in Dope People Who, and that is to empower over 100,000 other wildly healthy and fun relationships because we are having a blast in this, in this love affair, and we want other people to have their version, their own version of the same thing. So that's why we created Unleash Your Dopeness, which is a course, uh, an online course. It's self-paced. You can do it, of course, from the comfort of your home. And what better time with all the pandemic and you know quarantine and all that stuff to work on self-development and get what you need. Uh, it's designed for singles, couples. Like we said, we focus on the individual. But the course is fun. It's, it's action-packed. It's fun. We focus on we spend a, the first half of the program focused on you, built, supercharging your dopeness, making sure that you know how to prioritize your own needs and what and get, getting clarity around what it is that you want in, in your existing relationship or the relationship that you want to have in the future. And then the second half of the course really focuses on mastering those relationships, making sure that the energy that's around you is intentional, meaning the people that you allow around you cutting out those folks that, that don't make sense, and then really focusing on, from an intimate relationship standpoint, how to develop a strong partnership. And of course, we infuse, we infuse fun into it. It would not be Lakila and Eric if it wasn't fun. We mm-hmm. believe in having a good time. Um, it is it is expletive filled because that, <laughs> that's that's right. our style. Okay. Uh, and and that style is is one that's that's real. Like you're gonna you you're gonna feel like you're talking to your very informed and capable friends on the couch and getting good information about how to uh, to have the kind of relationship that you desire. So it, it's fun. It's a great time. It, it's really a great time. Yeah, we sat down and said, what would we like to have to have known in our 20s, mm-hmm. in our early 30s? Like, let's let's create that course and and make it so concise and so precise to the point that you can't help but to learn something and to also apply it to your life. Every single lesson has objectives and it has um, action items. Yeah, so every you. single thing that you look at or that you, you watch us do, you have to now apply it to your life and then talk about it in our private community as well. Yeah, so, so there's, it's community, it's actionable steps. And right now we are um, running the course at a, at a discount. So anybody who listens to this episode, Keisha's going to have a link that you can you can check out and get the course for the discounted discounted uh, program. And that's for a limited time, but we want to just make sure people have access and can, can take advantage of all the good stuff that's packed in there. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah, definitely. Hey, y'all better take advantage of this good stuff. I mean, we are what we're just a couple of days into a new year and you talking about personal transformation, relationship transformation. Mm-hmm. Like it's we're, we got to be brand new. I mean, it's a new year. You got to be brand new. Right. So go ahead yeah. and get started. You guys, Um, like Lakila said, I'll definitely be sharing that link. Uh, probably a little bit later this week. And then also once the podcast drops, once once by, by the time you guys hear it, I'll share it again. Uh, probably just keep awesome. sharing it. I'll keep sharing it. You know, we got to we, we gotta work on ourselves. Um, hey, guys, before we get ready to wrap up, let's see. Let's let's leave us a, a couple of words of inspiration, a couple of words of encouragement, anything that is on your heart to share, because we probably have some aspiring uh, entrepreneurs, some aspiring people who are looking to get coupled. Anything on your heart that you can share that would empower, uplift and inspire somebody? Well, as far as business is concerned, 
whatever you have a passion for, get your butt up and do it. Trust me, you will enjoy the entire process. There will be some days that are difficult, yes. Some days it'll be busy, but you're going to enjoy watching your work in other people continuously. So just get up and, and make it happen. Don't worry about all the issues with the world. Don't worry about the naysayers. Just get up and make it work. All right. As far as relationships are concerned, whether you're single, married, divorced, or it's complicated, you are enough. Mm -hmm. You are enough where you stand right now. Everything else you do in your life moving forward will just make you a better version of yourself. Absolutely. And I'll just say, I'll just piggyback on the relationship comment that it, to have, you know, phenomenal, bomb, healthy, fun relationships, surround yourself with dope people who inspire you to be your best self. Oh, gosh. Oh. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Love that. All right, guys, uh, Eric and Lakila, go ahead and drop the uh, where if there's anybody who would like to to move forward with uh, registering for the course or anybody that wants to connect and follow you guys online, be sure to drop your website and social media handles. Absolutely. So you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Dope People Who. Um, you can email us at Dope People Who at, do at Dope People Who dot com. And um, our website is www dot Dope People Who. Dot com. So if, we're pretty easy to find. You, if you Google dope people, who you're going to find us somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And there's actually a link to the course inside of our Instagram bio as well. So yeah. very easy to reach us. Yep. All right, y'all. Y'all have heard it here. Dope people who co-founders Eric and Lakita. Lakito. And I, I've said your name a hundred times and here I am with this comedy show at the end of the, at the, end, of the, you got it. At the end of the interview. It's I, all good, sis. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, guys. Hey, like I said, we're talking to the co-founders of Dope People Who, Eric and Lakita. All right. Lakita. Uh, no, no, it. no. It, it, it's me and my comedy. It's me and my comedy. <laughs> Eric and Lakila. Bound and you guys are dope people who I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey guys, thanks so much for being a guest on the show. I definitely look forward to having you back and much success and continued success. And uh, you guys take care and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank All you. right. Take care. Yep, you too. Peace. Thanks for hanging out with us here on SOB. We hope this episode has been resourceful. If you'd like to check out the latest articles or follow Keetra's website updates, just log on to Keetra.com or follow her on Twitter at K-E-E-T-R-I-A.